Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a pair of Object 268 boars. It's a tier 10 Soviet tank destroyer, otherwise known as the Bobject, and they're located on the north spawn of Malinovka. One's under the control of Arpenheimer, the other one Twisted Rapture, and alongside them is Mako 343 in the 113, the Chinese heavy tank. Okay, game on. Now we're recording this video again, I'm afraid we had to because I'm afraid our previous recording methods were actually leaving the pictures kind of stuttery and uh, yeah it was making it difficult to view and it's a good game so it's worth actually recording twice just to make sure that uh, you get the full picture of the battle. The Object 2684 is considered a bit OP, in fact very OP. It's got a 152mm main armament, which is capable of doing 650 alpha, penetrating 293mm of armor with standard rounds, where the heat rounds that goes up to 360. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, Twisted Rapture and Arpenheim are going up on top of the hill, and Makos decided to go over to the bushes overlooking the lake and try and get hits on the enemy from over there. Now one of the most OP things about the Bobject, as it's known, is simply that it's got a virtually uh, impenetrable front of the vehicle. Very difficult to pen. It's the engines up front and the crew compartments in the rear, so it's very difficult to kill the crew, but it does have some weak spots. You can see that vision port on top of the capona, on top of the tank, and uh, well, if you can hit the sides and the rear, you can definitely take them out that way. Its reload time as well is 14 seconds, which is not bad considering this is 152mm calibre. Anyway, they're up on top of the hill almost. There's bound to be some enemy tanks up here. It's a tier 10 game with tier 9 tanks in it. So expect to see some enemy. Oh, it was the first one. It's an object 430. I think he regrets walking into a Bobject trap. But the 277 fires his 13cm gun and he gets a hit on Oppenheimer. Twisted Raptures taking the lead on that corner. He hits the 277 for a high roll. Oppenheimer's reloaded. Lining up for another shot. Fires straight through the front plate of the 277. Blocking the shot that came back from him. Oh, that's enemy arty I think. Yep, there is an enemy RT in the game. There's two of them actually. A batch up 155.55 and FP3805. And he went straight through the front of that AMX5120. You see they're both working together on this moment. Here we go. Yeah, he took a shot from the 5120, but he fires one back. And he's nicely angled at the moment to stop that 120mm gun, but the guy found a weak spot. Okay, track's fixed. 277 to one shot. Yep, he's gone. Now he is firing heat rounds, but at tier 10, if you don't fire heat rounds, you are not going to get the damage. So gold spam is acceptable. It's necessary, really, if you want to win the game. And that 430U is taking damage now from Mako, who's come up on the hill with his 113. And the 430 is running. He's trying to get away as quickly as he can. He can't face three at once. Twisted Rapture and Reiko, uh, Mako are going after him. Meanwhile, I think Arpenheimer is pausing just a moment. I think he's probably writing something in trap or changing his music. He likes to play music while he's actually playing the game. Okay. Well, there's a Skoda T50 and he's got him dead in the sights and he's just waiting for the reload. In fact, he's loading a standard AP because he'll easily pen that thing with one AP round. And a big hit! 702 high roll. Twisted Rapture turns up. Skoda's running for it. Oh! We just lost Twisted Rapture. Taken out by an enemy Striv 1030. Tier 9 Swedish flat pack. And Mako just got hit by Artie. There's a leopard down there on the ramp. 
Mako's decided to go through the dip way to get to the tree line. I favor doing that myself actually because it's uh, once you're over that ridge line the enemy can't see you and you can get really close before they suddenly realize you're right on the next door uh, the other side of the rock. Instead Oppenheim has decided he's going to go back to actually try and attack that leopard. Can you get a shot from here? Yes he can. Nice! Auto aimed. Now you can see that somebody was firing heat rounds at him because there's a nice heat round skill. Turns up in purple on these mods on the side of his uh, casement. On the other side you can see there's a round that careened off. They come up in green. I know it's just the mods. Just gives me a clue as to what they're... Oh! Death Star! Got the side of him. Nice hit. Low roll though. Moving into cover. He's got a nice gap here he can shoot through. And that guy's gone. In fact, it was the T-49 who got the kill on him. <coughs> Mako's still alive and, yep, Oppenheim has decided to use the dip as well. It's a quick way of getting up to this rock without being seen. Enemy T-30. Got him by the ass. Nice hit, but low roll. 589. One more shot should finish him off. And he's already gone. There's a strip 1030. The guy who killed Twisted Rapture is just around the corner and he just killed. Or did he? No, he didn't kill. It was the 704 got Mako. Okay, we've got a 1390 down in those bushes. Yes! So that's three kills now for Arpenheimer, but he's now facing an object 704, a T11. Oh, 110E4. Oh no, he's gone. He's got the side of the 704. Very nice. Yeah. And that's a low roll again. He's still got to deal with that striv. But the strip won't come up here deliberately to attack a object. He'd be suicidal to do that. There's the 704 gone. You just got him. He was spotted, so the I think the striv must be fairly close. Just the other side of the rock. He pushes past the wreck of Mako. And he's been spotted again. And there's the enemy RT, a bad chat. And he's going for the strip instead. Low roll, 604. Goes in for the ram. Get as much damage as you can. He takes a hit. But he rams the strip. And he makes him a one shot. And now he's just got to wait for the reload. And before he can do that, the strip is killed by a T54. And that is the end of the game. Excuse me. I think you'll agree that battle was worth recording twice just so we can get a stutter free watch on the battle. He actually got a first class mastery in that game. He also got a shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle, a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his vehicle, a hand of God for surviving the battle, having received damage from four different enemies. Out of the battle heroes and the epics, he managed to get a high caliber for dealing the most damage, a steel wolf for blocking the most damage, a confederate for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else in his team, and lastly, a tank sniper for hitting the most at, uh, of the, of the getting the highest damage at a range of at least 300 meters. And the win eight for that battle was 9,236, which is super unicum standard, but that's what we expect from Arpenheimer because he's so good. And you can see here that he has got the highest damage in the game, 7,432 hit points. The next high scorer was the FB3805 on the enemy team with 3,067. And after that, the Death Star managed 2,707 hit points. And we can see if we look down the list that uh, uh, Mako managed to get 2,625 hit points of damage. And where is this um, Twisted Rapture with 1,453 hit points of damage? When it came to kills, it was Arpenheimer and Twisted Rapture. Both got three kills each. Nobody else managed to get more than three kills uh, or three kills. And we, if we look further down the list, I'm sure we can see the 113 is there. Yes, and unfortunately, Mako didn't get any kills in that game, but he did do a nice amount of damage. 
When it came to base XP, it was Arpenheimer at top with 1067, and the Uda 16 managed 945 and the T49 807, with Twisted Rapture getting 752, and the 113 just underneath him with 694. He fired 12 rounds in that game, got 12 direct hits, 12 penetrations, 100% accuracy, 100% penetrations. 7,432 hit points of damage, of which 2,717 were at more than 300 meters. He received 11 hits from the enemy, only four of which actually penetrated, seven non-penetrations and three hits by way of splash damage. He blocked damage of 2,210 hit points in total, spotted three enemy vehicles, damaged 10 of the enemy, killed three of the enemy, and did 669 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium county and 79,545 credits, and after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables took away a loss of 2,529 credits. I'm afraid that was down to the heat ammunition that he was firing up on top of the hill. It does cost, but it does give you the results. 25 bonds from the actual battle, 7 for the achievements, and 32 bonds in total. 1,600 XP times 5 for the first victory, 1,000 for completing the mission events and took away 9,002 experience points altogether. So I think you agree with me that that battle was definitely worth seeing twice, especially in a stutter-free environment. I'm, I'm hoping that this recording method now is far better and at least now we'll be able to see exactly what's going on without any visual problems and I do apologize if you've had to suffer those in the past with my previous replays. Um, hopefully now we will have this sorted out and I'll be back to producing at least uh, five videos a day for the channel uh, possibly more depending on how I can how many I can do without getting throat problems. I'm afraid I've got throat problems right now because I've just done a very big batch of videos. So uh, if you've enjoyed that replay please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.